Okay, what is up with everyone busting through these double reinforced concrete walls? <sighs> One does not simply punch a clean hole through a double reinforced concrete wall. You are not the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. I am super excited to make this video. If you couldn't tell, I'm a big My Hero Academia fan. It's basically a superhero anime where being a superhero is a profession. I'm Matt Picardo and I'm a licensed civil engineer in the US, specializing in structural engineering, basically making the skeletal system of buildings so they don't fall down during earthquakes. So if you've seen My Hero Academia before, you know there's a lot of buildings collapsing, infrastructure being damaged, and their heroes getting trained on rescue operations during these disasters. So I'll be reacting to some of those clips, so let's get started. They're in a rescue mission training right now, and it looks like they're having an earthquake. Whoa, and the floors suddenly crack, the concrete. That's a sudden failure. Get him, Deku. But yeah, a giant hole opening up all of a sudden on a concrete slab, that's pretty unlikely. So the main reason concrete slabs aren't going to suddenly collapse and make a giant hole like that are because they have steel reinforcement in them. During construction, they're gonna lay down a grid of steel bars and then they're gonna pour the concrete. And those steel bars mainly do two things. First, they strengthen the concrete so they can take on more loads. And second, they prevent these sudden collapses. The way concrete behaves, it's really strong in compression. So if you imagine a block of Legos, if you push it down, it's really strong. It's not gonna break. But concrete is really weak in tension. So if you try to pull it apart, similar to Legos, it's just going to fall apart, really easy to separate. And that's one of the main reasons we put steel in there to make up for concrete's weakness. So let's go back to our Lego example. Let's imagine that it's the concrete floor and it doesn't have any steel reinforcing in it. It's just pure concrete. So this is the concrete floor represented by the Lego supported on columns at each end. And we're gonna overload the slab and you see how it suddenly collapses, how it suddenly fails. There wasn't any warning. You couldn't even get out of the structure if you had to. It was a sudden collapse. That's the last thing that structural engineers want in their buildings when they're designing them. But let's put in some structural steel members represented by duct tape. Tape is actually pretty good in tension, so we're gonna use that to represent the steel reinforcing that you typically see in concrete slabs. The top side of this Lego slab is going to be in compression when you're loading it, and the bottom side is going to be in tension first, so that's the side that we want to reinforce with steel. So if we load it, you can see that not only can it take more weight, but if we overload it, you can actually see it failing. You can see that the slab is sagging or deflecting, and that's a big red flag to basically get out of that building or that member is not safe, and it'll give you time to, to warn everybody. So going back to the Hero Academia example, it's very unlikely that a slab is just going to suddenly collapse in the middle and everyone falls down it. You're gonna have steel in those slabs and that's going to make a sudden failure like that pretty difficult. Okay. Okay, dude. First of all, that's it's pretty dumb. You're, you're pretty much gonna make the building collapse if you do that. Uh, but your smash pretty much smashes through all of the concrete structural slabs in that building. Okay, so that's like one, two, three, four, at least four concrete slabs that you blow through. Huh, could you bust through four slabs like that? Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna call it plausible, assuming that Deku does have that amount of power. If you're gonna bust through four slabs, you're going to want to hit them there at mid-span and from the bottom. Why? It's going back to our Lego slab example. Most of the steel reinforcing or the tension forces in the slab are gonna occur at the bottom face. 
So that's where a lot of the steel is going to be. If we didn't have these crazy superhero loadings, the top would pretty much always be in compression. So there's not gonna be a lot of steel at the top face. But if you have Deku smashing the slab from the bottom, then the top part is going to basically tear apart in tension. So you're hitting the slab at its weakest point. So yeah, okay, I'll, t I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, what is up with everyone busting through these double reinforced concrete walls? <sighs> One does not simply punch a clean hole through a double reinforced concrete wall. You are not the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah! He's a bad example. Don't do that. The building's gonna fall down. Okay, in reality, in I'm sure in special forces and the army, military operations, they do breach through these types of concrete walls with explosives. So technically they can, but for the most part, it's not that easy. Even if you have explosives blow through the concrete wall, the steel reinforcing is still going to be there unless you have some special types of explosives. So they usually have to cut the rebar or use another set of explosives to clear all of the reinforcement out of there so you can actually get someone through that hole in the wall. If the concrete wall had no steel reinforcing in it, sure, you could bust a clean hole through it. But there's almost always going to be some steel in there. And that's probably a structural wall. I wonder if they think about if the structure is going to, to fall down or not. Okay, so they're facing Mr. Cementos in this exam. Mr. Cementos has the ability to manipulate uh, cement. Got him. Slump test. <laughs> he did not pass the slump test. <laughs> okay, so if it were up to me, I would have called him Mr. Concretos because cement isn't concrete. Cement is an ingredient of concrete. Concrete is typically made up of cement aggregates such as rocks, sand, and gravel, and you have some water as well. Cement is essentially the glue that binds everything together, and that's only about, in typical mixes, maybe 10 to 15%, so it's not even that much of concrete. I know it's more of a technicality, but if you ask any civil engineer, that's kind of one of their pet peeves that they run into, cement is not concrete. It's like calling coffee water. Sure, it's made up of water, chemically it's, it's not. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. Make sure to check out these additional videos as well. I'll see you next time.